so, so, so soft. I can't even tell you. It's gorgeous. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my car. <laughs> my really annoying, tiny, tiny car that I should never have bought. Let me just move you over slightly. I've got you rested right now on top of my card holder. I've really worked with what I've got because I've got my tripod. You know, typical for it, always bloody unorganized. Um, I am currently being stared at a very, very sexy looking guy getting out of a very big Range Rover. And he's looking at me thinking, who the hell are you talking to? I look like a crazy woman talking to myself in the car, which I am, but you know, I'm actually talking to you guys. He does not know that. So anyway, let's carry on. How is everyone doing? I hope we are all doing well. It is currently, I think it's like, let's check what the time is. 10, it's 10.15, it's 10.15. I have just arrived in London. I got up, honestly, at like the crack of dawn um, to get here today because it takes me a long while to get to London. And you know what the joke of it is? I literally left London last night. I think I got in about 9 p.m. and I'm back in London at 10 p.m. this morning. So I just literally spend my life commuting back and forth. And at the minute, a real big debate in my life, and I put this on my Instagram story, if you follow me on there, you all know what I'm talking about. But a real big debate in my life at the moment is do I move to London? It's my dream, it's always been my dream to move. Um, and I just feel like I'm at a stage where it's possible now, but the thing that's stopping me is just because, have you seen house prices and rent prices in London? Like it's actually ridiculous but i just feel like i could just go there and live my best life and as much as i love my family and my home because it's literally unreal there's just i just need to get out and i've got so many friends in london now basically workers in london and i just want to go man but all the sensible clever people in my life are saying do not go you're going to waste so much money on rent stay at home blah 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 but I'm not a sensible person and I'm just thinking, fuck it, let's go. So if any of you watching this have got any advice about moving away from your hometown and going to a big city and all the rest of it, do you know what? I don't even feel like it's a big deal moving to London because I literally feel like London is my home. I just don't live there. But yeah, if you've got any advice on that, leave comments down below. Someone give me some advice on what you think I should do and if it goes wrong, I'll blame you. I'm joking, I don't really, but yeah, just please give me some advice because I feel like I need some right now. Anyway, the reason I'm in London today is not because I'm looking at apartments or anything like that unfortunately it is because i'm getting my hair done i mean doesn't my hair look so brown at the moment so this is my natural color on top it just shows you how dark i naturally am but also my hair has got so long i always 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 have my best friend do my hair i get it done um at the chair in canterbury um by chantel love you shan but i'm a twat and basically i go away next friday and i forgot to pick in with her and she's literally got no space to do my hair so i am going to daniel galvin i think it's called that and a girl called ellie is doing my hair um i'm actually kind of nervous i've seen her work though like she looks absolutely unreal but I just always get so nervous when people do my hair that's like not Shan. So yeah. Um, but I just thought I'd basically take you along with me today. I am going to go there. The hairdresser is conveniently really near Oxford Street. So I'm also going to nip into Selfridges. I'm going to go to Topshop because I'm looking for some white joggers. And I'm also going to go to Zara because I'm looking for a white coat. So yeah, I don't really know what's going to happen in this vlog. It's just going to be a day out with me in London. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one of these. So yeah, we'll just see where we end up. At the moment, I need to get out of my car and go and get on the tube. Um, so I'll probably see you in the hairdressers. Right guys, I've just got to the hairdressers and I mean, I'm just gonna quickly show you my hair now. It's really, really, really rooty. I've got so dark on top. I'm also gonna show you, also? I'm also gonna show you the length of it right now. It is super long. And yes, yeah, so I think we're just gonna freshen up all the color. I think I'm gonna go a little bit blonder, take a little bit off the length. I'm kinda nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but at the same time, excited. So, hopefully see when I look a little bit blonder. Quick update, guys. I'm underneath this heat thing, looking gorgeous. I think I should actually be like a Pret ambassador, though. I'm not even joking. They should sponsor me, because I literally eat Pret seven days a week. But look how nice this veggie box looks. So colorful. I've had this, I think, twice already this week. I think it's just a good way to get in all my vegetables and be half healthy. So I'm gonna sit here and do this really hot, heated thing. These foils in my hair looking stunning oh yeah by the way also from Pret, i've got this smoothie thing it was the um raspberry one 10 out of 10 it was literally so nice i don't know how healthy it actually was but it tasted pretty healthy 
hello everyone i have really 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 messed up on my job today of vlogging because i have not picked up my camera since before i got my hair done or when I was getting my hair done. That was the last time, I think. Anyway, I've now had my hair done. Sorry, the light in here is so bad. The sun is, like, in the wrong place. I've had to put that there to try and stop the sun. The from route is being calculated. Wow. Anyway, where was I before my sat-nav rudely interrupted us? I was showing you my hair. So, I don't know if you can see in this light, but it looks amazing. Like, honestly, I'm so happy with it. If you live in London or the surrounding areas, I fully recommend that hairdressers. I went to Daniel Galvin, um, Ellie did my colour, and Stephanie did my cut. So, I've actually had quite a bit cut off of the length. It's still really long, but compared to, like, what it was, I actually had, like, I think, like, a good inch and a half, which is a lot for me, okay, guys? But, yeah, it literally, I'm just so happy with it. You've got to imagine, though, now I've been walking around London, which I really apologise for because I planned on vlogging, but I completely and utterly forgot. I didn't really do much any. I went in Selfridges. They don't let me film in there anyway. I picked up a new swimsuit, which is in here. It's a new um, Hunza G1. I think that's what you call it. I don't know. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Um, I already have a few of theirs. I just love how they fit. They're stupidly expensive. But for me, I just think because they fit me so nicely, like I don't mind spending the money. I then ended up leaving London just because I couldn't be bothered to walk up Oxford Street. Got back to my car and I'm now just arrived at Blue Water. This is a bit of like a spontaneous trip to Blue Water. I don't really know why I'm here. Um, basically, I feel like I'm here just to kind of look for that Zara coat that I was going to buy in London, but obviously never actually went into a Zara. So here I am trying to find it here. Um, so yeah, obviously I'll take you guys with me into blue water. I don't know how much I can film I'm really sorry about this light. It's so awful and Also probably gonna get some dinner on my own because I'm a liner Well guys, I got out the car at blue water dropped my fucking phone. Sorry Nan for swearing but I need to swear and um, It's smashed. So I smashed my phone screen. I then decided to come into blue water Went to Topshop, they didn't have the joggers I was after. We went to Zara, they didn't have the coat. So basically, just came to Blue Water and just cracked my phone. Honestly, I swear, all week, all I've done is twatty things. Another thing I did this week, which I forgot to tell you all, is on the way to London earlier, I drove into a bus lane. I was following a taxi, thought he was like going in like separate lights to get into another car park. And it was a bus lane. So probably today has cost me like £300 once I repair my phone screen, pay that bus fare. So now I'm just debating breaking my whole diet because I'm in a real bad mood. And just going to McDonald's and eating away my sorrows. So I go and get myself a 20 chicken nugget meal. I'm feeling like I should just do it. Honestly, why is, oh actually there's something else I forgot to tell you. I've lost my AirPod. So I only bought these about, I don't know, two weeks ago probably have been raving about them because they're so good why has my camera gone so dark and yeah i've now can only find one that's in my bag and do you know what they don't work if you've only got one i don't know really what to say well guys what a day i have bloody had i don't want to go on too much because i just spoke to my dad on the phone and by the way i did put this on my instagram stories um like tonight Obviously, this video will be on a different day. And I know some of you don't follow me on Insta and vice versa. But yeah, I basically said to him on the phone, Dad, I've had the worst day. Like, I went into a bus lane. I got a £60 fine. I then lost my AirPods. I smashed my phone screen. And now I've just been stuck in standstill traffic for like an hour. And he said to me, do you know what, Freya? Like, I get that you've had a bit of a shit day. He said, but at least you're still alive. Like... At least you're not in the car crash of the traffic you're stuck in. Some people today got diagnosed with cancer. At least that wasn't you. And he just said, no one's attacking you. No one's picking on you. It's life. Like, shit happens. And you know what? That hit home very hard. And he is very true. I need to stop complaining. But I just feel like I've really had, like, a week of it. Obviously, my day to you guys will just look like, oh, you went and got your hair done. And then you just went to Selfridges. Like, what's the big deal? But obviously, shit goes on behind the scenes that we don't always show people do you know what i mean but anyway i'm not gonna moan what's done is done um at least my hair looks nice well it doesn't look so nice now i look a complete wreck but do you know what i'm absolutely starving so i've just literally nipped to mcdonald's i never ever 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 eat mcdonald's unless i'm hungover or drunk i'm neither of those things i'm just so hungry i just got myself literally six chicken nuggets i asked for four but they said that they only do four and a happy meal <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm just currently sat on my own outside McDonald's. Mm -mm. Oh no, they're so cold. Yuck. These are not fresh chicken nuggets. I'm very disappointed. Well, hello everybody. It has been a few days since the vlog that you've kind of just watched. Even though you are still watching the vlog, you know what I mean. It's a few days since I had that disastrous day. Oh, here's Dudley. Bunny hopping up the stairs. He's got a little picture of his ass there. He always comes on camera. Whenever I get my vlog camera, he always just like decides to turn up. He's such a poser. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's been a few days. I'm feeling a little bit fragile today. I went out last night with my friends. I feel like everyone thinks I'm an alcoholic, but I swear to God, I actually do not drink that much. I just seem to always be hungover when I'm vlogging. But anyway, um, I've just had a mango delivery. Actually, that's a lie. I got the mango delivery yesterday. Um, so I just thought to finish this vlog, why not open it up, try the things on with you guys, and we can decide if we want to keep them or not. I can't actually remember what I ordered. I think it's definitely two coats. It's not loads of stuff, it's only about three or four things. Um, so let's open the box and try some stuff on. I've just propped you up to make this easier. Look how big this box is. Oh my God, it's actually huge. But there's really not that much stuff in here. Oh, I don't think there is anyway. Can you see Dudley? <laughs> you can see his little legs, look. By the way, please ignore the stair carpet and everything. The house is such a mess. I know I almost mentioned in every single vlog that our house is a mess, but it's even messier than usual at the moment because we're just having so much work done to it and yeah, it's just awful. Anyway, I love it how whenever you order anything from Mango, they like put it in a bag like this inside. I think that's kind of cool. Let's get rid of the box. I think I'll need to keep it kind of nice because it might end up sending some of this stuff back. So, oh wow, this looks amazing. Okay, so, I'm really excited about one of these coats. Okay, so, the first thing was just something that's really basic. I'm not actually gonna try this on either because I imagine the makeup marks on this. So I'm just gonna wait until like I'll actually wear it. So I just feel like I will wear this at some point. I'm not gonna send it back. So all it is, it's just a plain ribbed white um, roll neck. I just think it would look really nice underneath. I've got a mango brown coat, which I'm actually going to show you in a minute. Even though it's from last year, I absolutely love that coat and I've worn it to death. And I know it's back on the website this year, so I want to show you guys um, it on. But I just think this would look really nice underneath it. Obviously, the makeup though around the collar is just going to be a nightmare. I got it in a size small. Um, I can't remember the price, but I'll link everything down below. So I just think that'll be a really good basic to have in my wardrobe. Next up is this coat. And oh my God, it looks like a dressing gown. I have to say, I've seen this on a few people on Instagram. And I just thought it looked unreal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it though, because I actually have a few white coats. I got one from Topshop this week. I'm going to show you that as well, actually. Um, in a minute i'll try them all on for you but this is this coat oh my god it feels so nice wow it feels unreal it's obviously this like fake sheepskin kind of thing i would say that it is kind of pricey i do think mango is quite pricey um it was same again it doesn't say i think it was like 120 pounds which is obviously kind of a lot of money but yeah, I'll try that on in a minute. And the next thing I got was another coat. Now this coat, I believe, is exactly the same as my brown coat, which I wore to death last year, which obviously it's not brown. It's gray. Why is it all these weird things on it? What the hell? Oh, it's just like holding it together. I don't know why that's there. But yeah, this is basically the same coat, just the gray version. It looks kind of small though. Maybe I should have got it in a medium. I don't know, right, I'm gonna try all these things on and we'll decide if I'm keeping it or not. Okay, I've just taken my um, pink jumper off because it wouldn't have gone at all. But this is my brown mango coat from last year, the one I've worn in about 700 Instagram photos. I literally wore this to death. It goes with everything. And yeah, they have it again this year, so I'll link it down below. And I believe it's the same as this gray coat, which I'm gonna pop on now. Okay, so here is the gray one on. I mean, it needs a bit of a steam. It actually looks a bit of a wreck, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whether it just needs steaming into place or something. It also fits, I'd say, a little bit smaller than the brown version. I don't know if I'm absolutely in love with this or not. It would look really nice with like a white hoodie underneath it or something like that. The joke is the reason I did this mango order was for this coat. And now I'm unsure whether I like it or not. Sorry, the light in here is really not so great. But, yeah, I just don't know, guys. 
Oh my goodness, this coat is literally like wearing your dressing gown, like but in coat form. It's ridiculous. It feels so, so, so soft. I can't even tell you. It's gorgeous. But, and this is my biggest concern. Clearly I wear makeup, always do. And look at that. The collar is going to be covered in foundation. And I hate that. I've got such a thing about like hate like makeup being on tops or anything and I literally will not be able to stop that from happening so it's kind of making me think I'm not going to keep it because look how much it touches my chin right now it's going to be absolutely filthy but what I will say is the coat is gorgeous so nice if you're going on like a wintry holiday if anyone's heading to New York or anything like that this winter you definitely need this coat it's so nice I just want to show you this one though. This one is from Topshop and a lot cheaper than that one. I think the mango one, I already said, I think it's £120. And this one I think was either £70 or £80. And you know what? It's absolutely lovely. It's same again, this kind of like wool knitted kind of feel to it. But it's a gorgeous coat. I've got it on a size medium. You can see it's a very oversized fit. And I think out of the two, although the mango one... Probably overall is a nicer coat. The collar thing's going to be an issue for me. So I think I'm going to keep this one and send the mango one back. What do you guys think? Or should I just keep the mango one and then just risk the makeup all over it? Obviously, I'm still going to get makeup on this Topshop one, but not anywhere near as much as I would on the mango one because the collar's like in a different kind of place. So, yeah, big life decisions right now. Wow, I feel like that was literally the quickest haul of all bloody time. I'm going to steam that grey coat. I'm not sure if I actually like it. I feel like it looks, I don't know, just a bit crumpled and like shit quality. But it makes such a difference once you've steamed stuff. I feel like it looks so much better. And I feel like I'm going to keep the Topshop white coat instead of the mango one. Let me know in the comments what you're all thinking. Of course, everything featured will be linked down below. I'm going to wrap this vlog up here because hopefully I'm going to be editing it today. So you're all going to be watching it tonight. That would be a miracle if I actually get this up on time, by the way. I already have two other videos coming your way. I'm a bit like crazy with YouTube. I'm either on it and I do absolutely loads or just I struggle to find the time. I promise you, I've got so many videos coming your way. I've got a Zara haul, I've got a Topshop haul, I've got an autumn winter styling haul. What is this bit of hair? Oh my god, where is it? There you go. Um, I have got just so many videos coming your way, guys. I promise you, they will be coming very soon as well. And yeah, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, please, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hit that like button. Love you all loads. And thank you for watching. See you in my next one, guys. Bye.